Yo, 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 what's up? Jason here representing Raptor Reptiles. I just want to show you guys what we got cooking over here. This was uh, the first clutch, yet small, from Mars. Only five. Um, you know, they all hatched. They're probably about, I don't know, six weeks old. Just finishing up their first shed. You know, they were just looking good, so just wanted to share that with you guys so they're getting a bath so all these here except one are double hat for hypo and trans and this is the Mars and Rojo Fuego first clutch this one down here is the trans so she's a trans leather back, 100% head hypo. And then we got some normal scales on leather backs. Um, oops, sorry about the shaky camera footage, but this dude is the Godzilla of the clutch. And you can see he just, oop, he just uh, shed out and the top of his head is just becoming saturated with color and his, uh, his arms there. So yet his back right now is not as uh, colorful, I promise you. This guy's gonna bring the heat. So he's the biggest of the clutch. He's the biggest of the clutch. This normal scale here is the second biggest. I still think we're waiting on his head to finish up shedding, but he's amazing as well. He's got some really dark colors that should be coming in here shortly um, this right here is the trans I haven't sexed any of them yet um, it's not interested right now to me this guy's the star of the five right here just like extreme perfect anatomy giant tail fat belly super active just loving it and this guy is probably my second favorite. I do like the trans. I'm not sure if I'm gonna hold her or him back. Just growing a little slower, but sometimes that happens. There's gonna be some variations in the clutches. They're only housed together, so I don't wanna hear, oh, you have too many together. They're not getting enough food, blah, blah, blah. Nope, just these five together in a big enough enclosure. I throw tons of food in, but that's just it. The growth rate will be different, but really keep my eye. If I did help hold one back, it'll probably be that giant one. These are doing big. I'll show you them on the scale. Um, they will be up for sale probably in at least, at the minimum, one more shed. I just want to see how these guys develop. This is the first pairing. They're the, both of the parents, you can look up. Mars and uh, Rojo Fuego, they were super saturated. So, but just wanted to show you guys, we got some dragons here. They're doing healthy. Love that guy. This one is the truth. Uh, I love them all, but that one's just stand out. He's just massive. So, but no nips, nothing, keeping them in really small enclosures watching them closely right now they're eating uh, crickets I'm gonna start introducing some dubia here shortly I like to give them crickets for you know the first four to eight weeks then yeah, I move into some dubia my colony is doing much better and uh, yeah I'm gonna show you a couple of them on the scale just to show you what we're looking at here but yeah very happy with this clutch so there's my boy Godzilla teetering between probably 12 and 13 grams just outrageous especially you can tell where he shed like on the top of his head he is gonna darken up I know it um, just all all this will be see how his tail still in shed so still finishing it up for comparison the smallest is seven grams not horrible but we'll get her there she had a little bit of a slower start 
that trans though is making that color pop a little more so yeah just a couple on the scale show you where we're at I'm not ready to release any yet but if you're interested hold out they will be released soon um, and I'm probably not even gonna make them super expensive I just want them to go to good homes I, I didn't breed many um, this year I don't have many babies so really be hand picking them out here so yeah just let me know um, you can reach me on my Instagram that's probably the best way so and then uh, after this I'll show you guys the second clutch they're about a month younger yeah and we'll go from there alright guys here's clutch number two got 17 in here I had uh, one egg that had twins and they were actually like Siamese twins so ended up not making it out I was trying for that 100% hatch rate didn't work but sometimes those things happen here's a little more variation you can see in the second clutch got a couple runty ones in here like one of these trans they look super cool they're like super dark both of them here's another trans in the corner that's not super dark or up top not in the corner so we definitely got some nice variation I got to see more variation because I had more dragons in the clutch as opposed to the five for the first so that's why I said I'm gonna hold on to these guys here's a banging trans leather back that guy just went on top of him but that one is outrageous this trans is nice too so these guys are really just starting to get ravenous on the food here so keep an eye on them this dude I don't know if this one is like a dwarf or or what but this is the smallest one he's got a very short body so that's kind of interesting We'll see if he uh, grows. So, yep, clutch number two. These guys are super cool looking. These uh, leatherback trans dark ones. But they're eating, so everyone in here is eating. Some are just growing quicker than others. This dude is probably one of the bigger ones. He's just fire too just like that guy Godzilla he's even got more color he, these guys haven't even shed yet by the way this is like basically what they hatched out but it's good maybe a little thirsty so the trans I notice usually drink more than the normals but there should be some more cool ones. this dude's really big but I'm really liking this trans right here. It's probably the best one of both clutches. And then I'll have a third clutch hatch in here probably in a week or so. And that's going to be a small one too. I only got about seven of those. So just keeping you guys up to date what we got cooking here. So and then... Uh, I still use that uh, aloe vera gel, whole leaf lily of the desert. They seem to like it. I've noticed good results. I think it encourages them to stay hydrated a little bit more. It gives uh, the water a little bit of probably a sweeter taste. But this dude's got some nice, he could be a little bit more deeper red. But we'll see keeping an eye on them these guys haven't even shed yet so once I get two to three sheds out of these guys I'll have a better idea what I'm holding back and what I'm selling so since I didn't breed too much I only did the one pairing I have the luxury to really hold these guys back I got a ton of tanks ton of room I got my dubia colony I got my crickets I got my super worms so um, yeah we'll see if so here's just uh, an example of the variation of the clutch. Leather back, double hat, normal scale, double hat. This is a very dark translucent leather back and here's a normal scale uh, translucent. So very uh, interesting clutch. This dude too, 
he is also like I said a very dark trans so I got two really these was het trans to het trans I mean sorry this was a visual trans to het trans but I didn't get many trans out of this I only got uh, four out of this clutch so <laughs> out of 17 should be more like 50% but it's cool but these two as opposed to the other this is a leather back trans just really cool looking and then here's mr. runty right here he's probably like a dwarf I'm I'm not really sure I've never seen one really stay that super tiny um, all the other ones are growing and eating he's getting food I see him eating he's hunting this guy's got some very cool like tiger barring but like I said it's probably not the end result of what these animals look like. They haven't even uh, shed yet. So, yep. As usual, stay tuned for more.